Hi there, my name is Jennifer Clark and I am a Zazzle expansion expert. And I work with my mother, Elka Clark, and we teach and mentor creatives and also non-creatives on how to make money online with Zazzle. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the new products that Zazzle has released recently, and we're going to play around with it and have some fun. It is the custom cut vinyl stickers. And I think that this is a really neat product, especially because you can design your product and have a design, whether that be an individual graphic or even text, and it will custom cut the sticker for you. And so you can really think about what you want to do with regards to your niche and also serving your client or customer when creating this product, um, because you want to obviously design it for a specific purpose, right? And we're gonna open up the product page and we're gonna play around with it. But this is something that's kind of neat because because if you have a specific niche that you are in and want to have a design that has a custom cut vinyl sticker, then this is for you. Obviously, I always have a lot of fun when Zazzle comes out with first new designs, right? And you're like, oh my goodness, this is exciting. I'm going to create this and I'm going to play around with it and I'm going to post it for sale. I want you to remember to do your intentional research, especially when it comes to new products on Zazzle, especially if that product fits within your niche or not, or if it's serving your customer. It's extremely important because whenever there's a new product that is launched on Zazzle, although it is very fun to see the new product, maybe it doesn't actually fit within your niche and you might be wasting your time creating this product or designing it because it doesn't really match with who you're serving as your customer, okay? So that's just my advice for everyone who is on the Zazzle platform and you see the new products. It is really exciting, but do your intentional research first and figure out if this would fit in your niche and if you can utilize it specifically to serve your customer or client's needs in your niche. Okay, your ideal client or your idea of your ideal avatar. Okay, and so I am logged in. Obviously, you have to be logged in to create a design and post for sale in your store. Make sure you do that. And this product was released uh, recently, not like yesterday, but recently. And so maybe you've already played around with the product type, which is the custom cut vinyl stickers. Um, but I'm going to use um, my screen share right now and we're going to play around with the design. And I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to design this product because maybe you're not familiar with how to do it properly. And also some really cool ideas to get you inspired for your niche. Obviously, the tutorial that I'm going to be showing you is specific for when my designs or my niche, or we're just going to play around with it. But I really want you to be intentional when it comes to posting this product within your own store, because it has to be intentional and intentional being well researched and understand how it serves your client or your customers needs. OK, depending on who you're speaking to. If you are a business owner on Zazzle who are you're in a specific niche and then you have just random customers who find you based on your Zazzle products in your store and the searches, or maybe you're a Zazzle designer that does a lot of custom work and you have specific clients who you're making products for, this can also apply to you as well. And so you can think about how you're serving your ideal customer. All right. Very important. And I know I've talked about that a lot, but it's so sad to see so many Zazzle designers create new products or create a design on one of the new products that's released on Zazzle and then feel defeated because it's not selling or you spent all this time on this new design and then all of a sudden it really doesn't work with your niche. But just because it's new and exciting, then you take the time and effort. But just know that every time that you're sitting down on your computer to make a product, that product hopefully will translate into sales in the future. And if it doesn't work or is in alignment with where you're going with your niche and your ideal customer, then you've just kind of sat and played around on your computer, which is fun. But we're here to create a business, right? And my teachings, which we teach in our five strategies, is all about treating your Zazzle business as a business because you want it to be a viable business that can make money for you potentially in the future. Elka and I, uh, we are coaches for Zazzle now, but we have actually had our own Zazzle stores, right? And we created our Zazzle stores in 2007. So I've been on the platform for many years now, and I still make money to this day on my store with products that I created many years ago, okay? And so for anyone who's just starting out or if you've been on Zazzle for a while, you understand the concept of creating something now and having it potentially being sold in the future. And what I want you to do is understand that every time that you make a product, those are hours or minutes worked 
that can translate into potential income going forward in the future. So I still specifically make income on products that I made in 2010, in 2011, in 2012, because I did my intentional research. So imagine yourself sitting down for many years or even months from now and realizing that you're making earnings and royalty earnings off of a product that you spent 15 minutes on, 20 minutes on, however long on, but months ago or even years ago. And so you'll feel really good about that in the future when you know that you've sat down and done your intentional research before posting the product for sale. Okay. Because the worst part is, is that if you have spent hours and hours and hours on a specific design and you haven't been intentional, first of all, with your design, your product choice, or your titles and tags, and that design never sells, that's where the defeat comes in. And that's where you feel like it's overwhelming because you're not making sales or you're not seeing the results. It's because you probably didn't do your intentional research in the beginning. Okay, let's share my screen. Just give me one second while we do this here. And then we'll play around with the um, the vinyl cut stickers, which are really cool. Um, because I just think this technology is really neat on how they have used the you know, shapes of your text or your design or your graphic, and it will actually custom cut it outside for you. So you can make some really neat designs with this product. Um, just going to share my screen really quickly to show you what the update looked like. So this was on the 15th of August. So clearly it's not today that it was released. It was a month ago about, but I wanted to make sure that I did my research first and understand if this is a viable product for personally myself. And then also maybe you've done your own research as well. So in terms of the different styles and sizes, they offer different sizes from tiny to extra large and also glossy, transparent, matte white and glossy white. OK, so when you're on the product page, that was just the update on the Zazzle News. When you're on the product page, you can really play around with what's available here for you. So give me one second here and we'll open it up. All right. So this is what they have their preview as, for example, to put it on your luggage. That doesn't particularly mean that it needs to be for a luggage or a suitcase. OK, that's why I said do your research. They've used this mock up as their general mock up for uh, the product page. But if you're selling this product and selling it for a different purpose, then you can be inventive about it, right? Because stickers can go on anything. It can go on your car, it can go on your laptop, it can go on whatever. And so having this mock-up already gives you this visual concept of that it needs to be specific for travel purposes, but it doesn't, okay? You don't need to have this be the sticker used for on particularly just the luggage. They're also showcasing a car here. So just know that there are different purposes for this product and it doesn't need to be on a car or on a suitcase. OK, and then here, obviously, you can choose your different sizes. So tiny, extra small, all the way up to extra large, which is really cool. And then you can choose your glossy white, matte white or even glossy transparent, which is very neat. So depending on the graphic that you're using, if you've downloaded your own graphic, if you've created your own graphic, if you're um, a graphic designer, then you can play around with the transparency here. And I geek out on this because you can have a graphic that actually has a transparent background. And so parts of your sticker can be cut out or transparent based on the design, right? So you can really have some fun here with your own graphics that you create or graphics that you've purchased or downloaded. And then on top of that, you can play around with the actual type of product. So what it looks like. So you can have it semi, you know, you can have it glossy white, matte white, or glossy transparent, which means that you'll be able to see what's in the background of whatever you're sticking this on, right? And so as I mentioned, think about your niche and where this fits in with your ideal customer. Does it have to be travel related? No, it doesn't. Maybe you're in the baby shower niche and you want to have this be on, let's say, some sort of decorations or even wall decor um, for the baby shower. And so you can create this product type based on what you envision as being part of decor or something to do with baby showers, right? Maybe you even have this be a wall decor, like a wall decal. I know this also offers wallpaper and other things, but just think about it. the possibilities are endless when it comes to things like this, where you can play around with where things get put, right? If it's a sticker and it has a certain purpose, you can create that certain purpose 
whether it be for luggage, whether it be for wall decoration, whether it be laptop decoration, whether it be a car decor, or even uh, lockers, like back to school inside the locker. Like think about all these really cool opportunities for you based on what niche you're in. Okay, that gets you the ball rolling on inspiration for design styles and types. So for example, now, so we opened up the design tool and look, we can have like, for example, if I put on a pattern here, um, you can see what the preview looks like. Obviously that sticker is just gonna look like this sticker and that's kind of boring, okay? I mean, it doesn't really make sense for this product, but maybe I have some sort of thing in the, in the back of my mind to create a pattern with a sticker and then have the sticker have something else on it. But the cool thing about this whole sticker concept is that it's custom cut, which means that you can actually have a really cool graphic that you put on and it will literally outline the graphic and it will custom cut it to your graphic or your text even, okay? So I'm just gonna delete that and I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So I have individual elements here in my uploads and I'm gonna click on this and I have these hearts here, they're super cute and I can scale them up to however uh, big my graphic is because I've chose the large sticker. Obviously I need to have a larger graphic size with my pixels. So this is a big enough graphic for the moment. I can't make it any larger just because the graphic that I downloaded isn't large enough. So when I click the done button, this is really cool. It literally cuts it out for you. So when you get the sticker, I'm assuming obviously that you'll peel it off, the customer will peel it off, but it custom cuts around the outside of the graphic. So the end use looks like this. So that's what I meant. When you can really have some fun playing around with some really cool concepts here. And so I'm just gonna do my crop tool really quickly. So I don't have all this extra space here so that I can play around with that. So just imagine for whatever reason I've decided to make this sticker. Um, I don't have a specific purpose yet, but I just want to show you the really cool things that you are able to use this for. And so for example, now I have two individual sides to my sticker that I've created many different little individual elements and these little individual elements can be taken apart and stuck on. That being said too, because it's a sticker and it's peel off, you can literally create an entire sticker package that they can, the customer, the end customer can take off and then create their own design for. They don't need to keep this, you know, like pattern that I've created here. These are individual stickers. So they can have the hearts go up here or in the bottom or whatever, or I can literally just give them a package and what I mean by that, like a sheet of stickers that I want them to have. So I'll just create literally a pattern for them to copy and paste. And then they have a sheet of stickers that they can use, whether that be in a notebook, on a laptop, on a thing of luggage, on their car. So because I've obviously chosen a little large sheet right now, like you can imagine 14 by 14 is quite large, but you can think about the possibilities if you're creating individual stickers. So this is one concept where you can create a sticker package, which is kind of fun. The second concept, if you don't have like an individual graphic like this, where they're all, you know, PNG and they're on in their own elements, is creating um, a version of that. Like imagine Christmas, imagine Valentine's Day, all those things. Then on top of that, you can have like one individual element, clearly. So I have a, you know, a graphic here. And so that graphic is gonna look like this here. And you can have that be individualized. And as I said, it creates a really cool concept because it cuts it out on the edges. Here, what I might even add to is even some extra little elements here. This one's a little bit tough just because it has all of these smaller components. So clearly this sticker then will have these lines associated with it. But if I wanted to make, you know, a really cool collage here and have this be one element and this be another element, it takes a while. And I don't know why it cropped there, but just imagine this. I'm gonna just go back here and show you what I mean. This sticker, I have it overlapping, so it's gonna be attached together. But now you can have these individual lines because it isolates it, which is really cool, okay? So many things that you can play around with here. I'm gonna remove that and remove that. You can also create a pattern. So if I say this here, this one here, as I said, it's a little bit tricky because um, it's got so many elements associated with it, but it's kind of neat because you can also create, um, you can pattern it, right? You can tile it. So if I tiled it, 
And because each one of them is individualized, imagine, let's say that they want to cover their entire suitcase, or if you had a seamless pattern that you created from an individual graphic, then again, you have individual graphics of these stars and you don't have to create that pattern over and over again, which is also kind of neat, okay? I'm gonna delete that element here. Now, going forward, what you can also do is create masks. So if I have a photo here and let's say I want to create a mask and I'm just going to create a circle, put that over top here and put the circle over top of their faces really quickly. I think it's taking quite a bit of time just because it wants to, um, you know, the design tool is taking a little bit of time here, but let's say now I go to my layers and I actually mask the two. Am I able to do that on here? Which is maybe not available here. The oval. It's not allowing me to, oh, there we go. I just did it backwards. I forgot how to do that. So the mask individualized. So masking it. So then that means now also my sticker can be a circle. So you can create an individual mask as well with a template if you wanted to, okay? So that's also an opportunity for you, which is kind of neat. And I'm gonna delete that here. And last but not least, text option, which is really cool. So if I were to write a certain set of words or anything based on, let's say, my idea, let's say I wanna make a whole bunch of words for stickers, for scrapbooking or for, Christmas cards or for anything like that. I'm just going to use the word hello just for starters. Oh, and that's a thousand. Let's just make that 600 because I wanted it to be bigger here. So I can show you then also it each individual letter except the spaces in the O and the E and that's where the transparent option comes through. So I have hello there and it'll have the individual letters. Now, if I click on glossy transparent, then it will cut those white blocks out, okay? So that's also very cool for you to understand. Really cool concept. So I'm gonna stop sharing here and you can go on and play around with that yourself just because there's so many options. And as I said, think about the possibilities. It's not just a luggage sticker. It can be used for so many other things within so many different niches and play around with your text, play around with your individual elements, play around with adding more elements in there so they're individual stickers, and also think about the certain concepts. Do you want it to be for a notebook, a scrapbook? Do you want it to be for um, your laptop? Do you want it to be for your cell phone case? Do you want it to be a wall decor? Do you want it to be a car decor? This is like endless opportunities for you in terms of where you can use it within your niche. And it's very cool. So be inventive and be creative and have fun and play around with all of the different options for you. Custom cut vinyl stickers. Super cool. Have fun playing with them. Um, as always, before I sign off, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share this video if you found it useful with anybody who you think might find it useful or want to learn more about Zazzle. Um, like this video and also comment down below any type of feedback if you want to see anything specifically on this channel or if you want to have anything covered. We talk a lot about mindset, about business opportunities in terms of creating your Zazzle business up leveling and also things like this where we do little mini tutorials and I show you the insider tips and tricks on how I would design certain things or what I would do with that product. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.